Yes, we've been seeing stronger and stronger rhetoric coming from Beijing and the central authorities here in mainland China about these uh, protests in Hong Kong. Uh, the spokesperson for the Hong Kong Affairs uh, Bureau, they're explaining uh, to protesters that they shouldn't confuse uh, the restraint that, uh, he, what he, that he says China has shown with any form of weakness and that sh they should not underestimate uh, the resolve of the uh, uh, central government to uh, restore what they call law, law and order in, in Hong Kong. Uh, they, there was also a lot of talk uh, from from the spokesperson of this this meddling hand uh, coming from abroad and giving support to uh, what they call these radical elements within the protesters and that uh, they pointed the finger uh, at a number of different political figures especially in the United States people like Nancy Pelosi or Secretary of State uh, Mike Pompeo uh, one particular uh, journalist asked the question of the possibility of an intervention by the People's Liber Liberation Army in Hong Kong and uh, the spokesperson going Young kind of um, evaded the question a little bit and answered uh, in three different ways. He explained uh, that uh, the People's Liberation Army will protect every inch of China's sacred uh, territory. Explained that uh, the P People's Liberation answers to the Communist Party of China and adheres strictly to law. And he finally uh, reiterated his support in his faith in the uh, capacity of the Hong Kong government to restore stability on its own. Charles, what are protesters making of Beijing's briefing and that issue of uh, military intervention? Well, uh, protesters are likely not to be intimidated by this uh, latest uh, 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 rhetoric from uh, Beijing. Uh, they've been in the streets for two months, and uh, their reaction to these forceful uh, responses by Beijing authorities has been that it strengthens their resolve and their determination to keep uh, making their demands, and demands that are much larger than what they initially were, which were just about the anti-extradition anti bill. Now it's about uh, setting up an independent commission of inquiry for police brutality is demanding that uh, Carrie Lam resign from her uh, post as chief executive of Hong Kong. It's demanding universal suffrage so that they have control over the affairs uh, of Hong Kong. Uh, actually, some protesters held a con press conference of their own earlier this uh, uh, Tuesday, and uh, they uh, put all the blame on the current crisis on the Hong Kong government and Carrie Lam, and also responded to what they would do if the army were to intervene. And they said that they would continue to be water, which has been one of their slogans since the beginning of this movement which is to have a fluid approach and in a way sort of uh, disappear in the streets of Hong Kong in the face of a p possible intervention.